Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for the next seven days, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. Um, I already did one, but I decided to do it over because I got interrupted and it just seemed a little off. So keep in mind that every word that comes out of my mouth is part of this reading and not every reading is for you, okay? This was one of the cards that we had was unexpected help is arriving, which is a star, right? A star is your unexpected help. It's guaranteed success. I think that you have been praying, right? You've been praying for a way out of a situation. The first card I saw was the nine of wands and it wasn't it did come out in the reading but i saw it before it came out so i feel like you're growing weary you're growing weary you you you're on the edge you're you're like it's like you're on the edge of your seat you're like what am i going to do next i think that you're facing some life challenges with all the inner strength that you can muster at this time i feel like things are feeling off um I feel like you're also looking for a way out. It's almost like you're wanting to escape a situation. So oh, let's get some cards for Gemini. What do we have for Gemini? The next seven days. Independently owned and operated. angel protection so you do have some angel protection here let's get one more what do we have for Gemini and it's interesting because of that star stars come from above angels you know we envision them coming from above so there's some sort of unexpected maybe it's angels angels are helping you an invitation is coming so there's an invitation that is coming for you. Let's get one of these. What do we have for Gemini? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Actually, we're gonna use, we're gonna use just the majors. What do we have for Gemini? I saw this one and the other one as well. The lovers. This this came up in the, the one I just did. Unexpected choice in love. So this, and there is unexpected help coming. So there's an unexpected choice in love that you're gonna be making. Uh, I mean, the lovers is a decision. It is a choice, obviously, between two, okay? Obviously, we have a deep spiritual connection here to people that are in alignment with each other. Perhaps these two people have shared values. This is falling in love, a, a spiritual connection, a sexual connection. You know, this is a beautiful love affair, right? It is. Falling in love with somebody, holding somebody. You may be holding on to somebody that you, you know, uh, have a deep connection with. Looking into somebody's eyes, um, feeling comfortable, feeling very, nothing to be ashamed of. You can be yourself. This is, this is a beautiful union of some sort. Eight of Swords reversed. Queen of Cups reversed. We're going to do past, present, and future. We're also going to talk about your person. Death reversed. Some of you I saw are also going through a separation because we did have, we had the lovers upright in that same card, but in this deck we had the lovers reversed at the very end. So I'm not sure if some of you are separating from a false contract or somebody that you're dealing with is separating from a false contract. Um, let's just get the rest of the cards. Five of Wands reverse, Ace of Wands reverse, Knight, or uh, Page of Swords, Devil, and then uh, let's get your person. We have Devil in the in the future. Okay, so you're going to be tempted. You're going to be very tempted. Um, let's talk about your person. Ace of Pentacles reversed. 
Nine of Swords reversed. Somebody's giving deep, deep, deep thought to a relationship. Two of Pentacles reversed. There's there's like an overcommitment here, an overachiever. Somebody that has been trying to do too much. You're dealing with somebody who has too much on their plate. They're feeling all over the place. They have no contingency plan. Things are a mess. You're dealing with somebody that is probably financially struggling, uh, really, really struggling financially. Justice. That's that contract we were talking about. Um, maybe de you may also be dealing with somebody that is dealing with some legal issues. Maybe they're in a legal contract right now. Um, lovers reversed. That is what I saw before. So there's a separate, whoever you're dealing with is probably in a contract of some sort right now. Just justice and the lovers both represent a contract, but I feel like there's a separation, especially with the two of wands or the two of pentacles reverse. That's like losing it, losing a contract or separating from a contract. We have somebody here that has been giving deep thought to a contract or a relationship or a partnership that is unstable, extremely unstable, extremely financially unstable and, and unstable in other ways as far as the connection goes as well. There's no compatibility here, but there's some sort of tie. There's some sort of contract that is holding them back. Maybe it's a marriage. I don't know. I do feel like whoever you're dealing with uh, does want out and they are extremely stressed out. They are struggling right now. They're struggling. They got a lot on their plate. They may be struggling with change because two of the pentacles is change. Two of the pentacles. Two of pentacles. Um, there is probably going to be a separation. Whoever you're dealing with is... Uh, making a decision right now with the justice card they're probably going to be letting something go because it their their gut and their intuition and their inner integrity is telling them that they have to let go because this isn't it's not stable it's not stable and there's another choice here there's another option and we had the ace of pentacles in the in the first one um what you don't see coming is emotional support Okay, you see there's emotional support or love or commitment. There is somebody coming in that is looking for love, that is searching for love. They're going to be expressing their feelings towards you. Now, this could be you. This could be you that is heading in a new direction. This could be self-love. I mean, the Knight of Cups is an approach. It is an arrival of a lover. It is love. It is romance. It is a knight in shining armor. Okay, so you may not... You may not see it coming, but there is, some, or just emotional support. There's definitely an invitation coming. Um, if you are independently owned and operated, you may not be independently owned and operated for much longer, okay? Um, with that lover's card, that's an unexpected choice in love. I feel like in the past, you were with somebody that was disloyal, that is disloyal, that is unfaithful, definitely trapped. The eight of the past is the eight of swords reversed, the knight of pentacles reversed, and the page of swords reversed. You may be caught off guard. Maybe maybe you've realized some truth about somebody that you're dealing with that is unfaithful. You know, this person isn't qualified. They're not interested in building a strong foundation. Maybe they lied to you. They lied to you about what they really wanted because they wanted to feel safe. I feel like you were dealing with somebody in the past that is lazy, that doesn't follow through with their commitments. This person doesn't really invest in commitment. They don't put in effort. They lie. You're dealing, you dealt with somebody in the past that, uh, I feel like they wanted your safety. They wanted your safety in some way. And I feel, but I feel like now you've received some sort of information or you know the truth. Maybe you just see the truth about this person. Um, I feel like some sort of information has come out that has probably uh, shown you who this person is. And you may not be interested in staying in this situation anymore, even though it felt safe for you. I feel like there's definitely been some lies that have been exposed and you're seeing things more clearly than you ever have. I feel like you are... <laughs> Maybe you've broken free. Maybe you've, you've broken free from mentally from the illusion that this person is 
real, you know, that they even say anything real, that they even speak anything real. It's like, why did I get myself trapped into this situation when it's not even real, you know? It's not, because it's not even real. I feel like you have received some sort of truth that breaks you free and you want to be broken free, but some of you are still trapped. You're still trapped. But I feel like there's an obstacle. Maybe it's maybe it's illusion. I feel like you've been, and I'm just being honest, I feel like you've, because the mask is on over the eyes, it's like you could escape this situation at any time, but choosing not to. First card out is the Eight of Swords reverse, and the Eight of Swords is about trapped, trapped in fear, not seeing the truth, staying put in a situation that felt safe. I think you've reached a point with the night, with the Page of Swords where you see very clearly that this is not safe, this is not where I want to be. You've already reached that point. I feel like you've already reached that point of, you know, I know, I know that this is not where I want to be. I don't want to be in this prison anymore. And I think you've been trapped in this situation where you've been, you know, it's a trap and you know it's a trap and you want out of this trap. And I think that you're removing yourself from this situation, but I think it's, there's a delay. There's a delay in the way and it has to do with a contract. Maybe you've signed a contract with, with this person or with a, I don't know, maybe it's with a home, you know, maybe it's a rent, I don't know, I think there's a contract, whatever it is, maybe it's a mortgage that is, maybe it's a marriage, there's some sort of contract that is holding you back, okay, it could have to do with a child, I don't know, there's some sort of contract that is holding you back and causing you all this mental turmoil but I feel like you're, you're being lied to I think you know that you've been lied to I think that you've reached a point where you know you don't want to be with this person anymore whoever this person is there's a lack of love we get the queen in the present we get the queen of cups reversed the four of swords reversed and the five of wands reversed it's like it's been a constant battle there's been a lot of conflict this is an unrequited love situation. I feel like it's a dead end. I feel like you're ready to live. You're sick of being alone. Even when you're with a partner, if you're not getting love, if you're not feeling loved, it's very lonely. It's extremely lonely. At least when you're single, you can communicate with other people freely and openly. But when you're trapped in a contract, you know, it restricts you. It restricts you. So I think that you've really been restricted. Um, and I feel like there's there's some sort of heartbreak here with the Queen of Cups reverse. It's, it's, it's like emotional disappointment. I think right now maybe you're in your emotions. Maybe you're having a hard time mastering your emotions because of the loneliness. Some of you are very lonely with the Four of Swords reverse. And it may be emotional. Maybe, you're, maybe there could even be some tears over the loneliness, you know. And you may be feeling conflict and tension over, you know, wanting love. I just want to be loved. I just want to be loved you know those kinds of energies but I feel like um, some of you are it's definite loneliness that's what I mean the four of swords reversed is extremely empty right feeling empty and lost inside exhausted feeling isolated I feel like you're feeling isolated and almost like heartbroken over not receiving the emotional contentment that you so much desire but I feel like there is a conflict that is coming to an end with the five of wands reversed I feel like you've been struggling um, struggling maybe with an ending you know maybe you've been tied to something you know that you could escape from but this contract was holding you back and it was causing a lot of tension for you I feel like the tension is gonna ease up I do with the five of wands reversed I do feel like the tension is gonna is going to ease up um, I think that you're going to receive a message. I think there's still conflict here, though. I think that you're there. You're, you maybe maybe you're fighting yourself, or you're fighting with another person. I don't think it's over yet. I just got to be honest with you. With the Page of Swords right next to the Five of Wands, the five whether the Five of Wands upright or not, it is conflict. And in reverse, it can be extreme, or it can be stopping the conflict. So. <sighs> next to that is the ace of wands reverse in the future that's going south that is going south not coming to fruition um being weighed down being weighed somebody is being weighed down there they have been weighed down no desire no drive no passion near-death experience this holding on is getting old a need to break free you don't want to die in this situation somebody needs to break free they need to break free they need to replace their fear with faith they need to uh find their ambition find their drive find a way find a way find a way out of this toxic situation 
find a way out. I do believe there is some relief that is coming. I do believe there is some relief. You may have your guard up. You may really have your guard up because somebody has put you on the spot. It's almost like there is somebody here that is trying to emotionally blackmail you as well. They may try to emotionally blackmail you to staying with them. Now this could also be for your person. You may be dealing with somebody that is being emotionally blackmailed to stay in a situation. I do feel like there's emotional manipulation here. I feel like in the future you are uh, Oh, that devil card is temptation. It is temptation. Tempted. Tempted to leave. Tempted. Tempted to do something. What is that devil card? Next to the ace of wands reverse. Tempted to not do anything. You need to get make a move, Gemini. You need to do something. Page of Cups reversed. Knight of Wands reversed. You need to you need to fight your own demons. Okay, we got demons here. That's what the devil is. It's demons. Page of Cups reversed is unrequited love situation. You may have to. Sometimes you know you have to do things. You might have to tell somebody no. No, some, you, there's some sort of codependency here. Some of you are tied to a situation, definitely tied with the Eight of Swords and the devil that is tied, tied to a toxic, unhealthy behavior or situation where you need to take control. You need to take control. And if it means that you have to reject somebody, then so be it. I mean, I hate to say that, but the Page of Cups reversed is... is a rejection it's a bubble burst you know it's uh, shattered dreams it's not love it's and then the knight of wands reversed is reckless behavior um, a need to take action but afraid to take action you know I feel like you need to really master your emotions I feel like your emotions are all over the place I'm just being honest. Queen of Cups reverse, Page of Cups reverse. Some of you may be uh, feeding your emotions with addictions. It could be drugs, alcohol, food, sex, you know, one night stands. Some of you may have a one night stand here. You may have one night stands. Maybe, maybe there's cheating, unfaithfulness here, you know, and somebody could get caught if they're doing that. You know, they definitely could get caught. Um... Holding on is getting old. It's time to release this toxic situation. It's just weighing you down. Stop wasting your time. Break free from that mentality. You have a better option here. You're going to be receiving an invitation from somebody. Rejection is God's protection. If something isn't working out with a partner that you are not aligned with, let it go. Stop holding on to it. You have an option here with, with somebody that is a perfect match for you. This is somebody that they have aligned you with. Take it. Take that opportunity. Stop wasting your time. Stop wasting your time on somebody that, or even the thoughts that maybe you feel like you're not good enough, you're not adequate enough. That could be the, what's holding you back. Fear could be holding you back. I feel like you are going to be put in a position where you have an opportunity to connect with somebody that is on your level. Open up to this person. Stop isolating yourself. Uh, there's, there's also fear of of not being loved, okay? Open yourself up. Take a risk. You may need to take a risk. I feel like you you have an exciting opportunity here to start over with somebody that you may not have uh, expected, okay? Unexpected help is arriving. This person is very much aligned with you. Very, very much aligned with you. Um, I feel like you will uh, be given the opportunity to connect with this person, but you will need to probably make a choice to let go of a previous contract to accept the new opportunity. That's exactly what this is. But there's so much fear, fear, fear with that Knight of Wands reverse. Take act now. Think later. Just do it. 
just do it. There's something that you need to do, okay? Ace of Cups, new start in love, new beginning in love, new love, new love, showing affection. So you may have a new love here. But you have to open your heart to that new love. There is there is somebody that you have been holding on to because the death card is in reverse, is holding on, it's holding on to a dead end. We have dead end a couple times. Dead end a couple times. Death reverse and the four of swords reverse. Four of swords, the death of a person or idea, you know. But there's emotions all over the place. You need to ground yourself. You really need to ground yourself. You need to get real. You need to get practical. You need to accept the truth. If there's no compatibility or there's no reciprocation with the per person that you're holding on to, then you need to end that contract and accept the invitation that is coming from whoever this is that you are perfectly aligned with so you are going to be receiving an invitation from somebody you are could be an aries leo sagittarius pisces cancer scorpio another gemini um we also have capricorn we have capricorn taurus virgo we have libra gemini aquarius it doesn't matter it looks like we have everybody here i feel like uh you're really going to be in your emotions because you're receiving an offer that you do not expect. There could be somebody around you. This is for somebody else that has been in a contract. They have separated from the contract and they're coming to you. They're coming to you with some sort of truth. Three of Cups reverse. That's separating. That's parting ways from a third party. That is. Three of Cups reverse is parting ways from a third party. It's friends or family. It's 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 separating. So we do definitely have a separation here. A termination. There's been a lack of emotional growth. Somebody is separating. This is the end of a third party situation. It is. Right? One more card. Queen of Pentacles reversed, unstable, insecure, stubborn. We got somebody here that has been naive with the Knight of Wands reversed, holding on for financial reasons, holding on for the assets, but there ain't no love. There's going to be a separation. There is. A decision is going to be made. Just, justice is a decision. Decision being made. Everything's going to turn out as it should. We do have a separation here. Somebody is deciding to separate from a money-hungry individual who is just, they were holding on just for the money. It's like, you just keep it. Keep it. I don't want it. I'd rather be, I'd rather be a single or I'd rather be loved. I'd, I'd, I don't, I don't. I don't care about the money. I don't care about the money. You keep it. So I don't know if you're saying that or the person you're dealing with is. I don't care about it. You keep it. emotions all over the place because you're receiving an invitation that breaks you free it can break you free from this previous contract or you can stay to be bound to it it's up to you because once you step into the new contract the other one is over right chariot what you don't see coming is movement. 
success, victory. I mean, that's what the chariot is. Once you take the high road, once you take charge, once you take control of your life and you decide to leave the past behind, you will have victory. There is also somebody that is coming towards you. This is a master. This person is a master. They master their emotions. They don't have any fear. And this is your unexpected help. So somebody is coming towards you that is very strong and determined. This is somebody that is a warrior. Okay, this person is a warrior. They are coming right towards you. They may be coming to the rescue. Maybe they're coming to help you. They are. That's your unexpected help. Maybe it's angel. This angel, and I see it. The angel has is sending you this person to help you. Expect a message. You're going to receive a message from somebody. This is an offer or an invite that can help to break you free from that mental space that you've been in. If you will allow it, if you will allow it to happen. Two of Pentacles reverse is letting go. This is too much. It's overwhelming. It's a it's a loss. Losing a contract, losing a losing a partnership that is not compatible because it's the right decision. It is the right decision to let it go. So I, you know, either you're deciding to let it go or your person is deciding to let go of a false contract. It's they were just in it for financial reasons. That's it. That's it. Separating. Somebody could be separating from a false contract and coming right towards you. That could be the case. Either way, I feel like an invitation is coming and you are going to be caught off guard by this invitation. Good luck.